The history of the Nintendo website traces its roots back to the early days of the internet in the late 20th century. In the mid-1990s, as the World Wide Web gained popularity, companies began recognizing the potential of establishing an online presence. Nintendo, a prominent player in the video game industry, embraced this trend and launched its first official website in 1995. During its initial years, the Nintendo website served as a basic platform to provide information about the company's gaming consoles, handheld devices, and a limited selection of games. The design was rudimentary, reflecting the simplicity of early web development. However, it laid the foundation for future expansions as technology advanced. As the new millennium dawned, Nintendo's website underwent significant updates to keep pace with evolving internet standards. The early 2000s saw the integration of online gaming features, allowing users to connect and compete with each other over the internet. This marked a crucial step for Nintendo in embracing the digital era and the growing importance of online multiplayer experiences. The mid-2000s brought about a major transformation for the Nintendo website with the introduction of the Nintendo DS and Wii consoles. The site became a hub for downloadable content, firmware updates, and online communities. This era also witnessed the birth of the Virtual Console, an online service allowing users to purchase and download classic Nintendo games, adding a nostalgic touch to the gaming experience. The launch of the Nintendo 3DS in 2011 prompted further enhancements to the website. It became a central hub for managing user accounts, accessing the eShop for digital game purchases, and staying updated on the latest news and releases. The integration of social media elements allowed users to share their gaming experiences and connect with the broader Nintendo community. The success of the Nintendo Switch, introduced in 2017, further propelled the evolution of the company's website. With a seamless blend of console and handheld gaming, the website adapted to accommodate the hybrid nature of the Switch. Features like the Nintendo Switch Online service provided additional incentives for users to engage with the online platform. The website's design continued to evolve, becoming more visually appealing and user-friendly. The introduction of responsive design ensured accessibility across various devices, from desktop computers to smartphones and tablets. This adaptability reflected Nintendo's commitment to reaching a broad audience in the digital age. Amidst the technological advancements, the Nintendo website played a crucial role in marketing and communication. It became a primary source for official announcements, trailers, and promotional events. The site served as a digital showcase for upcoming games, fostering anticipation and engagement among the gaming community. Nintendo's foray into the mobile gaming market in the late 2010s influenced the website's content. Integration with mobile apps and services provided users with a seamless experience across different platforms, creating a more interconnected ecosystem for Nintendo enthusiasts. The website's role in esports and competitive gaming grew, with dedicated sections for tournaments, leaderboards, and event announcements. Nintendo capitalized on the rising popularity of competitive gaming, fostering a sense of community and camaraderie among players. Security and privacy concerns became paramount in the evolving digital landscape. Nintendo responded by implementing robust security measures on its website, safeguarding user data and ensuring a secure online environment for its gaming community. As the gaming industry embraced subscription-based models, Nintendo introduced the Nintendo Switch Online service, enhancing the website's functionality. Subscribers gained access to online multiplayer, a library of classic games, and cloud storage for game saves, reinforcing the website's role as a central hub for gaming services. Nintendo continued to expand its online offerings with the introduction of Nintendo Direct, a series of online presentations showcasing upcoming games and announcements. The website became a focal point for fans to tune in and stay informed about the latest developments in the Nintendo gaming universe. The website also played a pivotal role in supporting independent game developers through platforms like the Nintendo eShop. Indie games found a space on the website, allowing smaller studios to reach a broader audience and contribute to the diversity of the Nintendo gaming library. With the global success of the Nintendo Switch, the website became a critical tool for managing user accounts, digital purchases, and online interactions. The My Nintendo loyalty program incentivized user engagement, offering rewards for activities such as purchasing games, participating in surveys, and interacting with Nintendo's online services. The pandemic in 2020 underscored the significance of online gaming and community engagement. 
Nintendo's website adapted to the changing landscape by providing resources for at-home gaming, virtual events, and social connectivity, reinforcing the role of gaming as a source of entertainment and social interaction during challenging times. The website's localization efforts allowed Nintendo to cater to a global audience. Multiple language options, region-specific content, and global events demonstrated the company's commitment to providing a tailored experience for users around the world. Nintendo's ongoing commitment to innovation and adaptability ensures that its website remains a dynamic and integral part of the gaming experience. As technology continues to advance, the Nintendo website will likely evolve further, shaping the future of online gaming and community engagement in the ever-expanding digital landscape.